Peace and love, goddesses. This is Ruby D, the goddess. I'm an entrepreneur, author, and I'm no longer referring to myself as the energy therapist for several reasons. It no longer resonates with me. Um, so now I prefer to refer to myself as an energy health and wellness specialist or expert. And the reason that is, is because not only can I help you improve your energetic health and wellness, I can also educate you about it. And when you're educated, then you're able to share that information with others. But for today's topic, I wanted to discuss why knowledge and understanding of what energy health and wellness is is important for professionals entrepreneurs business owners and whatnot and of course this information definitely has to do with being a goddess because when you are unleashing a goddess or you are evolving and elevating um, as a goddess then you have to understand that overall, in every aspect of your life, you are healthy. You are aware of the, your energy and the particular energy body that's associated with that specific area. See, that's one thing about being a goddess and unleashing the goddess. It's just not where you've worked in one area of your life and everything else is shambles, everything else you've ignored, everything else you haven't bothered to even do any work in. That's why so many people or so many women can't embrace what's within them and they have to look outside. They don't want to be held accountable for every single thing that happens and goes on in their life to whatever degree they're supposed to be responsible and accountable and of course next to personal your professional relationship or your professional connections are just as important because that's pretty much associated with how you're able to make your money, how you're able to make your living, provide for your family. And that's why so many people always want to talk about this work-life balance. Because it's not easy to, to obtain. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that because, of course, coming up for our February seven day chakra detox, we will be focusing on the professional chakra system. So I wanted to go ahead and get into this today. So as a professional, we know that we have to be mindful of our energy body. You know how people say you have that, that regular personality and then you have that work personality. You have your regular voice and then your work voice. They're not two different people. They are the same person. They just behave a little differently and sometimes process things a little differently because what you say personally, um, you feel that you can't say professionally, but you can just in a certain way. And also, personally, when things happen to us, it's going to affect you when you go to work. You don't have to go to work and that be the only thing that you talk about or the only thing that you focus on. But because you are one person, it's going to affect your work to some degree. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that when that happens, then you know how to effectively manage it. And most people don't know how to effectively manage it. So this is why knowledge of your energetic health and wellness is important. 
Because when you're able to effectively manage your feelings and your emotions, then you are able to control them no matter what the situation is, as opposed to suppressing them because you don't have time to deal with it. No, you have time to deal with it. It's just that you can't deal with it because you don't know how. And I understand you don't know how because nobody has taught you how. But that's okay. That's why I'm here. So, of course, um, when we think about emotion, you have to understand what emotion is. The difference between emotions and feelings. Emotions are energy in motion. So pretty much... Look at it like this. When something happens and we we feel it, it's just like if you literally touch your skin, that is feel. That's what you do. You're feeling. So that particular activity like literally touches your, your spirit. And when it touches your spirit, then it's just like, how does that make me feel? How do you process that? Do you process that that as a negative feeling or a positive feeling? That's the difference between emotion. Because it's just like from that situation... Your spirit is being felt. And that stirs within you. And when it stirs within you, it's going to make you feel. And you decide whether that feeling is positive or negative or whether you like it or you don't like it. Usually feelings that we like, we say, oh, those are good feelings. Feelings that we don't like. Oh, that is a bad feeling. Feelings we like, positive. Feelings we don't like, negative. But, like I said, that's the difference between emotions and feelings. So, just because you are emotional, emotional means you are being... um. I don't want to say bombarded, but you are effectively being touched spiritually by your surroundings, your situations, people around you. Okay. And then you decide how you want to feel about that. That's why we have the power to control our feelings because we make the decision how we want to feel the emotion doesn't tell us how to feel the emotion is just there and the emotion has been stirred that energy has been stirred and it spreads throughout our body and it powers how we feel you get it emotions energy emotion So when it comes to being a business owner or just working a regular job, a nine to five or having a career, you have to understand that you make the decision about how you wish to feel that day. And when you make the decision to feel one way or the other, you have total and complete control over that. And yeah, sometimes when we're at work or sometimes when we're handling our businesses, people are going to come across or people are going to approach us. We're going to come across people that stir up negative emotion within us. And we deem it negative because we don't like the way it makes us feel. And then that is what causes us to respond, to react a certain way so at all times you have total control 
of how you wish to feel about a situation. And of course, that does affect who you are as a professional. Because if you always allow those emotions to make you feel negatively and you react negatively, then you become known as the negative person at work or the negative business owner that no one wants to do business with. Just think about if somebody leaves you a bad review. What happens? How do you feel? Or just think about when uh, somebody doesn't want to pay you. How do you feel? How do you feel every time somebody asks you for a discount or asks you for a free service? In customer service, think about how you feel when you're on the phone speaking with a customer that doesn't want to listen, that is always cussing. When they are going off at the mouth, you can feel that within you. And that's emotion, that's energy in motion within you. And you decide, am I going to allow this to affect me negatively? Or am I going to allow this to affect me positively in such a way that this isn't gonna taint the way I feel about me and my day and how I want the rest of my day to go. Yeah, I'm not saying that you're going to be out here happy hunky-dory because somebody cussing you out on the phone. I mean, that's totally possible. But what I'm saying is if at some point you do find yourself getting heated, think about what you say. When people say they are 38 hot, we that is of course associated with extreme anger, extreme heat. When you get upset, your body temperature warms up for a reason. You know, you have to think about those little those little things, those little nuances, and begin to really move beyond, oh, I felt this and I'm going to try and ignore it. Why would you ignore something that you have complete control over? You see, this is why we have to have a knowledge and understanding of truly what energy, health, and wellness is and why it's important. Because in many, most situations, before it becomes mental and become and before it becomes physical, it starts off emotional. It starts off as energy. And that fuels everything else. So what I would suggest is just to take time to take inventory of yourself today and every day. And you can do that every hour, you can do that every four hours, or however often you feel you need to check in with yourself check in with your energy body check in with your mind body and soul so i am ruby d the goddess that is an entrepreneur an energy health and wellness specialist as well as an author and i look forward to speaking with you all next time peace